Hey, what's up everyone? I am uh, headed off to Romania to train weightlifting with Olympic medalist uh, Gabriel Sincrayan. I'm gonna be there for a week and it's gonna be super intense and I wanted to share the experience with you. So I'm about to head off now to Bucharest and I'll be seeing you in just a little bit. Six athletes in total will be attending this training camp and I'm about to meet them outside the airport. What's your name? Pavel. Pavel, Pavel. Pavel. From, from Poland. I'm Josh, <laughs> from the US, San Diego, California. Cameron, from Scotland. James, London. Hi, I'm Jonathan, from California. And last but not least, we have Gabriel himself, who has a long career in weightlifting, including the 2012 and 2016 Olympic Games and is known for his legendary explosiveness. All right, Gabriel, where are we headed? Uh, so uh, now uh, we are on the road. It was first time in Bucharest at the hotel very close to airport and now we go to Kele Grădiște. It's uh, where the training camp will be. It's a training facility where we are training with the national team. It's uh, very nice in the mountains, close to Brasov. It's called it here an area in Romania. So you'll see it's very nice. Oh, Romania! <laughs> <laughs> After leaving the airport, we drove north for about three hours past Wallachia, where Dracula lives, and through beautiful landscapes to arrive at our destination. All right, we finally made it. We are in this sort of athletic city type thing, where there's teams doing all sorts of sports, and uh, we're headed off to the gym. It's just a little walk away from our hotel, which is sort of like a cozy log cabin type thing going on. and. Um, I thought I'd give you the background here. Uh, we're gonna be training pretty hard, two, sometimes three times a day. So I've put on a lot of weight. Normally I weigh about 62 kilos. I weigh like 69 now. And my hope is that that'll make it so that I don't die halfway through the week. The national weightlifting team rotates their training facilities in order to stay inspired. But this particular one is well liked because of how beautiful the surroundings are. The gym tour. <laughs> exactly. Entering this camp, I was used to training about four days a week and burning about 500 calories per session. But with the increased training volume and the multiple sessions per day, I was going to have to increase my calorie intake by at least 50%. Right now we're in the sports um, restaurant, so they're giving us a ton of food. I'm going to eat as much as I can so that I can last the rest of the week. All right, it's 9.50 in the evening. I ate as much as I could. Um, I'm thinking instead of playing Diablo, I'm just going to shower and focus on recovery. So I'm going to meditate a bit and then go to bed. <sighs> yeah, whatever. Look, I made a new friend. I don't know if everybody knows, but I can talk to animals. But uh, there's, a lot, there's a lot of dogs up here in the mountains. Yeah? Oh, look at it. I found another big dog. Big doggy, big doggy. It's 6.30, I uh, didn't sleep as well as I would have liked, but uh, I slept a little bit. Uh, I can still feel food in my stomach. Today we're gonna have uh, at least two workouts. Um, I'm gonna try and eat again. And uh, really is nice up here in the mountains. Um, Try to film a little bit so that you guys can be here with me. All right, guys, day one. Today is not a strength day, but we're going to be doing power snatches first. And then I guess we'll find out. I think everybody's ready to rock. You guys ready to rock? Ready. Funny thing is, the sessions don't have to be very heavy to be tiring. On my normal workouts, I do about 16 to 20 sets of exercises, and in these ones we did 25 to 30. In the second half of this session, we were visited by a physiotherapist that's a good friend of Gabriel to assess our mobility and physical preparedness. All right, training session number one is done. We're gonna eat lunch now. Everybody got personalized advice from Bogdan. The stuff I got felt a bit revolutionary. <laughs> I looked in the mirror afterwards and totally understood how I'm supposed to be standing when I do my front squats. I'm pretty excited about incorporating that. I suppose we'll find out. Food is serious business. No chit-chatting, just getting the calories in. 
even the eating is a bit of a workout. All right, I just had lunch. I'm gonna be honest. I am already a little bit tired. We're gonna have another session in two hours. So everybody here is taking a power nap and uh, hoping that we don't die. You managed to squeeze in 40 minutes? Yes, I did. Legs are a bit tired, but that's because there's probably more volume than what we used to, so. Time for session two of the day. Let's do a bit of running. All my training partners were really awesome and the vibe at the gym was great. We were all working hard and even if it was pretty tough already on day one, everybody was in a good mood. Day one done. I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty, pretty tired. I think my battery is at minus 100. But they have a ton of food here. This uphill, it's a really long uphill, but gotta eat. I don't think I'd eaten this much since ever. All right, end of the day. I just barely squeaked through. I have to admit, when I was at the dinner table, I was struggling to get my food down. I'm eating a lot more than I usually do, and I think I have to because I am absolutely exhausted. But it's no problem. It's like Captain America. I can do this all day. You ready to rock? Yeah. Weightlifting is such a technical sport that it's important to keep your concentration high throughout the sessions. And staying in a good mood makes everything easier. These are the kind of pranks that we play here. You see Cameron sleeping. Somebody started piling weights on him. This session was surprisingly good. We went heavy on the squats, and I thought it was gonna go real bad because yesterday evening I felt really bad, and I didn't even sleep good. But I think the vibe in the gym makes it good. Yeah. Han Vatrot. Yeah, yeah Vatrot. Uh, like really, I could barely make it up to the restaurant. But I'm super hungry now. And uh, I think it's one of those things where you just have to show up. And if you can weather the initial onslaught, the rest will go okay. All right, it's three o'clock. I've eaten about as much as I can. And now it's time to power nap for two hours. And then it's training again at five o'clock. So apparently two hours have passed. <clears throat> I did manage to catch some sleep kind of for the second session of the day. It's worth noting that even though this type of training is quite intense, it's nowhere near what the Olympic team goes through to prepare for their competitions. It's a level of intensity that few people ever get to experience. It never gets easier. You only get stronger. So even if I wasn't training anywhere near as hard as an Olympian, I was very grateful for being shown, if only a small glimpse, of the lifestyle. The training itself was already inspiring and the surrounding landscapes of Chele Gradis Day made it even better. In between trainings, the gang would hang out and have fun to focus on recovery. Oh, the boots, you can Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 they're expensive oh, too. Yeah, yeah. they are also like those in Sweden. Leather, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Would you juice? Like Chele Gradis Day. Ningue Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> There's a difference between pain and suffering. I was hurting, but things were good. Good morning. Good morning. You ready to rock now? Yeah. Yes, ready. You ready to rock, Pavel? Always. Training was progressing well, although my Garmin watch was telling me that fatigue was starting to accumulate, so you know what that means. Time to eat. After eating, we took a little road trip through the mountains to visit a location that Gabriel was going to show us and that everybody was excited about checking out. What is this place called? Where are we? We are in the Poyana Brashov. It's another uh, training camp uh, zone here. It's the same in the mountains. Uh, here it was coming a lot, especially in the summer. And uh, I will show you now the gym. The facility was actually being used by the Romanian national team that week. So some, some of your best lifts were in here, is that right? One action this leg down, so I try to cover the power. And that platform before you. Stocking up for my personal records. This is the stuff of champions. It's pretty fresh here. It's nice to be here.
Morning session done. It went well. Feels better than day one. Everybody's in good spirits. We're almost there. Tomorrow's the heavy day. We're gonna end today with some uh, good technique exercises. It's time for food. Let's go. Oh, I think I might have gained some weight. 17.8. Okay, okay. Let's go. Okay. Uh, nothing. Plus minus zero. The days were quite literally eat, sleep, train, eat, sleep, train. But there's something very appealing to me about being that focused on one particular thing. And I don't think I've ever been that disconnected from work and other day-to-day -day concerns as I was on this training camp. Everyone was having such a good time, I think we tried to make the most out of every moment. And tomorrow was gonna be our last day. How often are you or our uh, weightlifters 100% injury-free, feeling good and stuff before competitions. It's very important when you are training for a competition to don't feel that you have injury or something. If you feel all the time pains and something similar is probably your technique is not uh, very good and uh, you are pushing too hard. It's normal to have like downs or to feel your muscles that are tired after some heavy session but not uh, in the past, in that side where you feel like a pain. Mm. Like, oh, we have again training today, I don't want to go because... And the second thing is, there's an expression which is, it never gets easier, you only get better. Is that true? Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Because uh, after a while, after you performing the same things over and over again, you become much better for sure. Does the training ever get easier? Uh, training, no. No, because uh, if you start doing uh, easy training, you will not uh, progress uh, anymore. You will uh, get better, you need to increase the weight, so the amount of uh, training needs to be the same hard. It's heavy day today, you know that? You ready to rock? Ready to rock and roll. Oh shit. Oh. Robert! Robert! Robert, are you okay? One session left. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> Catch it? See, try, try and see if you have the powers. In the course of five short days, my acute training load had gone up from around 200 to nearly 2,000. Normally, my resting heart rate is below 50, and my HRV is between 55 and 60. This week, my resting heart rate was 20 BPM higher than normal, and my HRV had tanked about 20 milliseconds. One session left. Time to make the best of it. Big legs, collapse breath. Yeah, dream about moving as well. My son is not good dog in him. So that's it. Today's the last day. We're headed back to the airport. I can't believe I survived this. I have to say, already day two, I thought I was gonna die. 
I've never eaten this much food in my entire life. I actually vomited last night, but I love it. This was the experience of a lifetime and I've really enjoyed it. Hope you thought it looked a little bit fun and cool and uh, maybe I'll see you in the gym. See ya.